All right. Some people get on the show on the go. people on that. My James, first one. Dale, of course. Who else we got here? Bipolar. What up? What up? What up? Give me a minute. I'm, let some people get on and I'm just uh, trying to um, check everything out.
Hello? Fish peeps, freaks, geeks, the punks that want to be me, Brian Panther Pellet. I said that right? I sorry. Morning Dale. Fire changes. Yep. Morning. Hope all's well. I'm always busy even if it's not busy. <laughs> Mike. Oh yeah, that's right. I almost forgot. Thank God you remind me. I'm not sure if I'll be here. I'll be here the probably first couple of hours, first hour or so. Um, let us see. Lots to do. Lots going on. Story of my life. Anyway, bunch of fishing yesterday. I did get everything I ordered. I got stuff that I didn't order. <laughs> I got Bino Sunshine Peacocks instead of regular Sunshine Peacocks. But they're nice. Actually, I think they were spawning just a little bit ago. Cobb due to Love Shack Shimmy. Um, oh, man. It's tired. Um, write something down, brokers. Anywho, um, let's get to it. I had some things, kind of rants, information. There's a lot more shit coming down the pipeline. This industry is crazy. Cray cray. Um, one, and this is like, I've said thousands of times over 33 years probably. Um, one, we're not a bank. We don't do layaway. I normally do not hold fish. I do not hold anything. Uh, somebody kind of pays for it. But then at the same time, you put a few dollars down on something, fish. Um, I can't sit on them. I need the stuff to go. It needs to get out of the tanks. Um, I can't just sit on taking care of fish. I need the tank space. Always needing you know, make room for new stock and we gotta try to make money so we can buy more stuff. So, um, yeah, and then it's Murphy's Law. It's like, it's something we don't really have, or it's a odd or rarity. And um, so you put it on hold, you take a little bit deposit or something, and then 10 other people come in wanting the same fish or fishes. Murphy's Law. So I've had some issues definitely in the past, especially in my first store back in 92 um, it, it had to do with a baby iguana and that's when that was like a, a point where I'm not holding anything unless I got money for one and then uh, this guy wanted to give me no money or nothing it's a blizzard out had hardly any business so struggling over there with my first pet shop and a family comes in once the one and only baby iguana I'm like I haven't heard or seen this guy He's supposed to come in today. I'm probably gonna end up closing early, whatever. And I'm like, and they needed to buy a whole cage, the whole enchilada, and um, I need a sale. So sold it. And just before I close, this guy walks in. Where's my guana? What's his guana? And I'm like, well, I sold it. And he threw a fit, came across him somewhere, and he like freaking just, chewed me out left and right so yeah F him whatever but yeah that's one thing what's the other thing I had it I had it on my phone <laughs> my calendar trying to remember stuff that I need to cover 
or comment on or discuss or rant about. I, I should have wrote it down on a piece of paper. But, um, uh, yeah, the trade it. Well, that's the other thing is then people want something, they want to buy it, and then next thing you know, they're wanting to barter, trade in stuff, whatever. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, flip flopping. Um, I don't, I don't want hardly anything. Uh, not now, especially when I get a fish shipment in, like 19 boxes of cichlids. I don't really need any more cichlids. <laughs> um, you know, I need to take care of what I have in. I mean, I got, what was this? $7,000 worth of retail value fish. <laughs> yeah, I, for, to trade in a $10 fish or something, and no. Um, and don't, I, that's another thing. Oh, that's a, that's a peeve of mine. Showing up here with a cooler or a bucket of fish, convicts or Paku or Pletkos or Oscars, unannounced, no call, no nothing. We've had so many cases, you know, since even being here, just, just so many stupid people. Sorry. Even the ones with freaking college degrees are some of the dumbest people that I've ever known in my entire life. Look at the freaking government. Um, and, uh, my watch is running 10 minutes fast. Always. Why? How'd you know that? I, I hate being late. It's my own personal pet peeve. I want to kill myself. If, I'm, if I say I'm going to be on time somewhere, which I rarely do anymore because it's, it's very hard to be very punctual in today's life. But um, I set all my clocks five, usually about 10 minutes fast. So i rather be 10 minutes early than 10 minutes late. I hate late. Do not like late. And I hate, I'm not the most patient person. Yeah, I'm in a business and I'm in the fish. And my mom used to, like, you're the most impatient, most bad. And my dad would be like, you're the most hard-headed kid. Um, but, um, yeah, people like, and then they're like, oh, I just don't want them. We want new fish or this thing's killed everything or it's too big, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, put it somewhere. And uh, there was a case not too long ago. And then the freaking dad's throwing a fit. Uh, you're not giving nothing? What do you even want the damn fish in the first place? I told people to take the fish and shove it up their ass and go out the door. It's like, you, it's just it's so dumb. So it's like, first you're giving it to us, and then you want something for it. And then you're complaining buying something. It's like, most places don't even take anything. Chains of box stores... Even some, they don't even want to give you anything anymore. So, and I've been taken, like I bought babies of stuff, you know, trade in or credit or whatever. And it's not even the freaking fish. It turns out, because when they're babies, you don't always know, like peacocks, certain stuff, whatever. And uh, it turns out it's a freaking hybrid or something else. Um, so, it's sometimes I don't even want to take anything in anymore or give anything. It's like, screw it. I just buy from my suppliers, which are a freaking pain in the ass. Anyway, especially Asia countries. I'm getting tired of buying fish from Asia. A lot of changes come down the pipeline, guys. This industry is... I am um, psychic when it comes to the pet industry, I swear. So, what I predict typically happens. I guess I've been in a long time. What chat? I mean, switch this around. All right, they did a watch. Well, oh, shit, I forgot. You got to hit it like twice. All right. I might have an extra Pindu to sell. I'm trying to clear out some tanks, move some stuff around the hatcheries. But this looks better. He's already knocked the freaking rock down. This son of a gun, this pe this big fat eel, fire eel, just freaking, I, I, I don't know how he knocks the shit down. He is a powerful fish. Um, we got to do a good cleaning on that one. I'm, um, so unfortunately our half black angels, most of them are dead. They're, it's unbelievable. I'm losing so much money. I am so sick of losing money. Especially when there's not a ton of money coming in and you lose money. It's even worse. 
Look at all that. There are lots of baby shrimp in the shrimp tanks. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go for a ride on this snail. Hello? These nyrite snails are sweet. They're urchin nyrite snails. They're so cool. Got a lot of them. The small little cute black ghost knives. Pygmy Cories. We still have Zebra Paleco. These neon coil loaches, look how we sold quite a few of them. They do not stop. They're pretty dang on active. These Australian gobies are sweet. Uh, peppercories. Blue emperor tetras are always cool. Green neons. Um, Cabote tias. Awesome for tosas. Breeding trio of um, autoseps. These big guys need a home. I'm going to start bringing, when I start working on my pond at home, I got lots like fantails comments about that size. I think they actually bred again. I might have some shabunkins, might have some koi. To, I'm going to, like the first phase of fish I'll bring in. So, big neon tetras, we've got stir by corys, mollies, snails, rams. Still got some exotic plecos, you got to look up and down and all around. Those peacock bass are awesome. There's a couple big green phantoms in here. There's one on, uh, it's hard to see. These cute tank raised uh, albino Oscars are awesome. Ruby barbs are awesome. Rosy barbs, that was made me mad. It was uh, majority females. Pissed me off. I freaking hate when vendors, dealers, farms, or whoever does that shit. Uh, it's just, you know I can't, it's harder to sell. Um, usually you pay a little bit more uh, for all males, but you figure you should get a 50-50. No, you get 75% of it freaking females. Ass wipes, piss me off. A lot of these places I like to freaking bitch slap. Makes me very angry. Now these Chiquita comps are freaking awesome. Um, I want to take one, put one in the um, 450. I think they're big enough. Uh oh, no air. The big daffodils. And um, God damn it! I gotta fix this. I'm, I'm knocking the air out. It's pissing me off. Especially with all the money in this tank gotta be this is bullshit it pops out or the lid I'm, it's like this business you lose your fucking ass it's so freaking ridiculous so luckily nothing crashed but it's cloudy and then the fire fin cops comps they're like two and a half inches they're fighting a little bit sorry my lingo Morning, Jeff. Lots of Kagoma fritosas. I can't believe no one's bought that group. So there's more fronts. Oh, we got a um, uh, Gallia Reef. I'm pretty sure that same ones, my wild, I end up with just a couple males, but I do have F1s. They're a good looking fish, a Mabuna. There's the Nagara flame tails that came in. Then some common plecos. We got two inch F1 Phenokylis. Um, we were actually short one. <laughs> uh, of course, the, one of the major fish I need one. The um, F1 Raganis. Hey, Canisto. Yes, lots of Kagoma seven bars. These are beautiful. I love diving capilli when I was in Tanzania. I only seen one lone capilli on that dive. We dove it twice actually, I think. But you never see the same thing in the same spot typically. I mean, Tanganyika is massive. It's probably a five, six inch capilli. Gorgeous fish. I've never had success breeding those. Now I've bred Gombi transcriptus. These are not from me, but it's a great little Julia Chromis. Uh, we got some like two inch plus multi cats. 
Um, Tricolor sips, we end up losing three of them. One's got a little bad tail. That sucks. Those are a very expensive fish. And getting those are troubling. Um, Ornatus. I notice there's a capillion here. But the Juliochromus Ornatus, these are a nice strain. I think they're F1, so they came from wild. That's a really nice barring, really nice yellow. I have a trio in a 20-gallon tank that um, have not spawned. These Monte Cristos are sold. He should get them Monday. So we still have the Big Argente, the big Starry Night monster. Jack Dempsey, two Jack Dempseys. These Trimax need to go. A badass, aggressive fish. All three of them for $100. They were $80, $90 a piece. I am not making money. I am losing money on those. So, um, the Buffalo Heads, the, um, someone, what is it? The New State of Kremis Buffalo Heads. Oh, I don't have the name. It's the Red Eye or Red Stripe. That's the newer Buffalo Heads. I have to get me um, a trio out of there. I want to breed those. I love I love the buffalo heads. These freaking guys need a home. Four left. Those those um, green avocado puffers. They're hardy, active. Pond loaches, two inch plus. Oh, uh, we got more peacocks, the dragon bloods. Oh, look at the Lawandas. They're sold. I think these are one, two, four, five. There's like two left. Two available Lawandas. Five are sold, pre sold. Uh, four or five inch Morii Blue Dolphins. Oh, the Ovatus Azura Selective Blue Twos came in nice. Lots of peacocks, small peacocks. Um, look how cute the little, well, they're not really little, little. They're two inch uh, Livingstone Eye. Here are some large ones. The males get a nice blue, and that pattern shows up. Then some OB peacocks. Lost one. There's one's coloring up. Let's see what they're just holding. Um, uh, we got Cygnus. Oh, here's the other side. Yep, a Bino Sunshines. Look how pretty those are. Those are really nice. Might take the females and breed with the regular one. I was supposed to get some large electric yellow libidos, and they were, um, I know sure, those Azuras are nice, and not overly aggressive. Abino Eurekas, I did order these. Beautiful fish. Males, obviously hot. Um, Dave, breeding. Oh, the Bino Sokolofis. I'm not a, Sokolofis are usually aggressive. The Binos, maybe not so bad, but they look, the binos are nice, like almost a platinum white with the blue fins. They're just so nice. Those would be a nice in a, a black tank or something, black back. Well, these are albino mori eyes, which are awesome. Don't see those too much. Never bred those yet. Uh, baby Williams eyes, those are from me. I had the breeders for sale. Odds and ends, obviously this is not open. These are those little uh, polar parrots are tiny. Tiny nickel, the quarter size. It's like uh, people don't know how to measure. Uh, some peacocks. There's a Fuscataniatus. Oh, the blue orchard peacocks are nice. Look how like a black blue with the whitish yellow as blaze. Good looking fish. Not overly aggressive, usually. That's nice. Nice. I think they're deep water too. Now these guys are a little rough. They came in huge. The Z Rocks, monsters. We lost a couple though in shipping. That's the big male trout I brought over. Monster trout. Um, oh, we got these discus. And lots of two, two to three inch, maybe a couple of those. Um, man, I love those ball plants, the red spearly like thing electric blue texas plants still got a good amount these guys are two bucks each the regular 15 dollars each 
those glass head stenders. Been a hard sell on those things, man. Um, can't believe we still have both rims. There's some a blue cobalt 239. Good morning, Terry. Um, almost out of ghost shrimp. Oh, we got these angels in, meaning large, assorted. There's some nice ones in there, veils, regulars. So, there's some fire eels. Oh, they're swimming around. There's one up there. I see his tail. So, I don't have the lights on, overhead lights. Don't have lights directly on top of those tanks. So, oh, the larger black ghost, nice. There's some King Tiger Plecos, big green phantoms. So, big claw loaches, fat, chubby, three and a half, four inch claw loaches. These guys are not, they're out right now. What else? Um, good old Howie. What time is it? Oh, crap, I gotta hurry up. Um, Brady Buffalo Heads. I've always had success, just had them in like a 15 gallon tank. 10 gallon maybe a little small, uh, 15 or 20, 20 long, and have a pair, different pots and rocks and caves, sponge filter or whatever. And um, they're usually pretty good with their babies. Now here's a problem though. I've, um, when I had to rebuild the center rack at the hatchery, H1. Um, I had a lot of good breeding going on. Buffalo heads, Tanadis, um, some Tanganyika and stuff. And, uh, oh, we got like 30% off on the marina plants, these packed plants. And those marina plants up there, 30% off. 30% uh, off on the Fluval uh, waste control quick clear um the aqua plus um 50 off on what's left of the fritz so we're unloading get rid of get rid of stuff so there's already discounts on tank kits that's got a, over a hundred dollars worth of freebies for that tank um that filter that ch filter is running the 54 that's for sale um this tank's looking pretty good. Some of these fish are getting big. The Severums, the Tiger Severums, Chocolate Cichlid. That is a beast and growing. Holy jeez. Bulge Chromus Microlepsis. And that Johanni still in there. Amazing. He's smart. Not getting eaten. Dovii looks better. She's just so ruthless. We have that Oase filter, which there's going to be a sale on those um, before we restock. 60 breeders, the end, there's a 29. That reptile cage needs to go. It's awesome. Great for a bearded dragon or something. All these tank kits. I'm throwing in a free heater with a 32 flex tank and stand and a free heater for the um, 32 flex better than any anywhere out there 30 percent off on the fluorite sand so there's 20 percent off on specs and the um, flex 9 and 15 gallon um we're getting low on some fx filters i think that's it what we have left so um also title filters cheap Saving a bunch. Odd clear filters are 20% off. Um, deep blue line, 20% off. So, good deals to be had. Uh, we're not open on Sunday. Um, and I usually come in a feed, but I will not be here. I have to take my son back to uh, college. So, oh, you. Um, breeding buffalo head. So, going back, I had them in a the middle rack, and when I had to redo the rack, the wood rack was decaying, falling apart over years, and uh, I put this, these steel racks. Um, had to move all the fish into other tanks, 
and then move a lot of them back and some stuff it's been years haven't bred again they quit breeding i like once they were set in their ways and place doing great then i moved them and then either they killed each other or they just have not bred like my big male buffalo head killed the female there's some young ones in there i have some young that i raised up pairs or in other tanks but they're not what's up Tobo john um so yeah it's kind of weird but uh 15 20 gallon yeah panther we um what's up mexicali um right here i just i don't get oscars often but these were from a friend their baby um albino oscars cute little buggers I took a uh, like couple, two or three to the um, other building to raise up. Don't know why. But, um, yep. Someone asked me about discus. We got those. And what's left over here? Oh, they went to hiding. Turn on the light. There's some back there imports. Not too many left, actually. So... <laughs> yeah, no. Actually, he'll be at the dojo. Um, he'll be let out after I got to drop him off in the morning. So, let out mid afternoon. So, kind of a long day tomorrow. Uh, we, have to, we have to pack uh, Dylan's stuff because he's only got a couple months left of school. So, all his winter stuff, and he's going to be home for the summer. So, we have to load up. Um, most of stuff, so um, I think he's planning on taking the go bus back home, unless we have to go get him when he moves out. But it'd be less that we have to deal with later, I guess. So we got to meet Austin and his girlfriend to have lunch in Columbus on the way to OU. Um, so yeah, a lot going on. My life is always busy trying to get the other business going. Everybody's get their highs in. 16 on. Wow, we got 16. Bam, boom. Got about a bing. What time is it? 8.35. So, a little time. I need a drink. I need my caffeine. I'm going to need Excedrin. Ah. I need my bang drinks. What else? Um... Uh, so yeah, we're pretty damn stocked with livestock. Um, I have a 40 breeder. I'm gonna bring that over. I got this 30 breeder, I have a 40 breeder. I have some used 10 gallons. I wanna get rid of that stuff. The 40 breeder I might just bring over today and stick it all over there so people see it. Um, deal with people on Marketplace, like Facebook. You know, I used to be Craigslist, but now, you know, Facebook took over kind of the People are just, well, I'll give you 25 bucks. It's $70, and you want to give me 25 Right now, that's all I got in my pocket. I'll meet you right now. I'll get it. There are so many pathetic, stupid people in this world. It's, I'm all for euthanasia. Yeah, I'll say that live. Um, so, just dumbness. That's when I bought this building like 10 years ago. I had that side. There's two sides. So this was a H3 and they had that side as the um, aquatic resale shop. Selling used tanks, equipment, or trying to get rid of stuff, whatever, closeouts. But man, dealing with the people. Cheap is cheap, but man, some people are just so just, uh, can't deal with them. So that's my buddy just got out of the business. My other buddy in Canada, he closes up after 29 years, end of this month. Um, I heard of another shop, not locally, closed. He tried expanding, trying to do st stuff different. And uh, so he's gone. What else? So there's a lot behind the scenes in this industry. So there's a big global show next week. So I'll wait till after uh, next week the global show to uh 
talking more about the state of the industry, I'd say. It's going to get dicey. So, I don't know. Support us local shop before we're all gone. Which is very uh, possible. It's, it, it's just not worth it hardly anymore. It's tough. Expensive, tough, and a lot of work. Seven days a week. But yeah, the industry is going through some major changes. And, uh, and I tell people they don't realize we're not owned by the pet industry anymore. It's not like family owned wholesalers or manufacturers. It's corporate Wall Street. Just like they're ruining and messing up a lot of things in other segments. They're uh, screwing up the pet industry as well. It's all, I mean, it's about money. It's all about numbers. The CEO on the golf course smoking a cigar or on his yacht, it all comes out in numbers. How many millions we make this day or week or whatever. Oh, we didn't make it, get rid of it. You're fired, your history, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. It's a uh, then or sell to the next investment group on Wall Street, flip flopping everything. They say they want us, they need us independence, but they really don't show it. For it's for Dale. Anywho, uh, that's it. I'm gonna go. That clock is off there. It's an hour. We didn't change the clock on here time zone i'm still trying to get through that all right i leave it this way do not change the savings whatever that's annoying but anyhow what else i should be back tuesday yeah back tuesday all right y'all take care thanks for hanging out appreciate you spread a good word uh we're up 11 to 5 today Monday and Thursday, Friday, 1 till 6. And Wednesday and Saturday, 11 to 5. I do have uh, future news April 8th. The stupid eclipse thing that people are freaking out. No problem, Jeff. Uh, that's like massive, gone crazy. Will be closed. Uh, so nobody's working, kind of. That's... Uh, odd so i don't know whatever um the zombie apocalypse might be happening <laughs> i'll be ready bang bang um so i have an idea talk to the guys uh might open the sunday before or tuesday after instead of losing a day a few hours or something three four hours be open i don't know Maybe Sunday we'll do like a special deal, deal, sale or something. I don't know. Um, my phone's buzzing, messages coming in, emails, texts, whatever. So, all right, y'all take care. Have a great weekend. I'll see you. I know some of you are not local, but if you're around the neighborhood, come in, buy something, something. Check out the new fish. Buy a fish. Buy a tank. Buy a filter. Blah blah blah. Buy whatever. We could use it. So. Thanks for the support. I'm out. Adios. Where's that freaking button now? It's over here. I got cross. The camera. Oh, no. Oh, Technologically unadvanced. <laughs> yeah.